Hello everyone, this is Rowan at Blonix and today I'm going to provide you with some tools that will help you select better sports supplements. Quick disclaimer, I work for Blonix and Blonix is a supplement company. Now the downside of that is I may be biased in my opinions and views here. The upside is I actually know the industry like the back of my hand. Now before I start, I want to talk quickly about the supplement industry and why it's important to do your own research. A number of years ago, the government deregulated the supplement market. What this did is it put the onus on the supplement brands to ensure that the products they make were both safe and effective. Now, self-regulation worked, right? Well, in my opinion, it doesn't. These are the sorts of things that I've seen in the industry over the last 10 years. But there's even more at risk here. There are a number of athletes that have had their careers cut short by either contaminated supplements or them taking supplements that have banned substances in them. Even more concerning is the fact that a number of supplement products have actually killed people, ephedrine here being one of them and it's now banned in the USA. But supplements are still of value. Research shows that some supplements do actually work to improve performance and there are brands out there that want to do the right thing. So the question remains, how do you seek out these products that work and have research behind them and how do you find the brands that are doing the right thing? Now let's get to the tools. So really the tools I'm going to give you are actually four steps you should take to choose the right supplement for you. The first step is to know the reason why you're taking a supplement in the first place. The second step is to know when supplements will actually help you. The third step is to know exactly what to take and how to take it. And the fourth step is to figure out which brands you should be buying from. So let's start by figuring out your why. When you're thinking about taking a supplement, what's your real, real reason for doing that? Are you taking it because it might improve your performance? Are you taking it to improve your health? Or is there another reason that you're taking a supplement? It's really important to get in touch with that because then you can start figuring out what you should be measuring to see if the supplement's effective. Once you're set on your why, then think, are supplements going to make a difference in the current situation? If you're looking at health or performance, either one, you need to start looking at your lifestyle first. If you do not have a good diet, if you're not getting enough sleep, and if you're stressed at work, then chances are supplements won't work for you that well. I'm a big believer in focusing on cleaning up the basic habits of a good lifestyle before you ever think about supplements. Next, if you're looking at performance, you need to think about your training. Are you training regularly? Do you have good and clear goals? Ultimately, is your training as effective as it could be? Once you have dialed your lifestyle and your training, then it's time to think about supplements because that's when they're gonna have an impact. Next is a very crucial step, and this is how to figure out what to take to achieve your why. Now, where we're often influenced by the people around us and influencers and what we read in the media, ultimately, I am a big believer that research, scientific research, is what you need to look at when it comes to choosing a supplement. So let's think about this for a second. There is no drug on the market today that hasn't got a good, solid amount of research behind it. Drug companies need to show that there's enough research to prove that a product is both safe and effective. Now, I think we should take the same approach when it comes to supplements too. And guess what? There's a lot of research out there. Even better, this research is publicly available online in a government-run database called PubMed. Now, before we jump into PubMed, because I'm going to show you how to use it, let's start with some fundamentals of what you're going to be looking for when it comes to a research study. I'm a big believer that research should be as close to real life as possible to show that something works. And for that reason, I think the studies you should be looking at are in humans who are doing some form of training. There should be some form of control for the, against the placebo effect. They should be of reasonable term and they should also be published in a peer reviewed journal. Right, the next thing I want you to do is get your phone out. Let's search this PubMed database. Open up a Google search engine, look for PubMed. Once in PubMed, 
use the search bar to search for creatine HMV strength. Next I want you to sort by relevance and lastly I want you to click on the article titled creatine and HMV actively increase lean body mass and strength. Now with luck you've come up with this study. Let's dig into this a little bit. Number one, it's on humans. Number two, they're undergoing progressive resistance training. Number three, it's controlled by a placebo. Number four, it's a good length three week study, could be a bit longer. Five, they're taking 10 grams of creatine and three grams of HMB, both good solid doses. And six, they've summarized the results. They've shown that creatine and HMB can increase lean body mass and strength when used together. So to summarize, if you're doing exercise and you're using HMB and creatine, it's gonna make you both stronger and give you more muscle mass. So now that you've figured out which supplement ingredients that you want to take, how do you go about finding a high quality brand to buy from? I think there are three main things you should look for in a brand. First one, do they align with you, who you are and what you are wanting to achieve? Secondly, price considerations. And thirdly, a bit of an assessment on whether they're trustworthy. So in looking for a brand that aligns with your values, you need to think of these four things. Pricing, are they premium product? Are they a low cost product? What is their focus? Is it on aesthetics? Are they a performance brand? Are they focused more on your health? Then look at their marketing. Do they use influencers? Are they, edu are they educating you? Are they a pretty cool brand? Are they flashy and hypey? Figure out a brand that's marketing really aligns with you. And lastly, and possibly most importantly, do they align with your values? Are they a company that's focused on making money? Are they a company that's focused on improving you? Or are they focused on making the world a better place? Think about which of these values are important to you. I wanna pause and look at cost for a minute. What is the difference between a premium brand and a low cost brand? Well, as with anything of lower price, the chances are the quality is gonna be lower, there's gonna be less testing, and maybe a bit slacker on the manufacturing processes. Now on the more sinister side, that company may be low dosing you using unnecessary additives and fillers, and worse still, they might be selling you a fake product. My advice if you are on a budget is to go with bigger and reputable brands. They have much more to lose by selling low quality products, and they have the benefit of volume to bring their prices down. Next, let's talk about trustworthiness. Here are some telltale signs that the brand you're looking at isn't that trustworthy. So that's it. Those are the four simple steps that you should take to start researching your supplements to make better buying decisions. A quick summary though. Firstly, you should be clear on your reason for taking supplements. Secondly, do your research. It's much easier than you think. And thirdly, make sure the brands you buy from really align with you and your values. So that's it from me. You've been listening to Rowan at Blonix here. Please do check out our website at www.blonix.com. Our purpose is to help as many people as possible achieve their athletic ambition. And we do that through products, but we also do it through the content we provide. So please go to our website and check that out. It will help you on your athletic journey.